We now have Super Typhoon Pepito, also known as Manyi internationally. Yes, another Super Typhoon at the last second here in the Philippine Sea. The Philippine Sea effect showing its true colors out here. And on infrared satellite imagery, you can just see the scope of this storm. Those cloud, cloud tops continuing to cool off there around that eye wall. Just all indicating this rapid intensification. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center has it at 130 knot winds with landfall. 130 knot winds in that inner core of this storm that is that inner eye wall right in here expected over cat and duanas as that passes right overhead here in just the next few hours after making this update so our friends out here across uh, the Catanduanas, Bicol region. Um, thankfully, it does still look like it's going to skirt just north of northern Samar, but you're going to be looking at kind of the outer eye wall hitting you, so typhoon strength winds are possible. But yeah, Catanduanas here and basically extending along the east coast of um, the Bicol area and even extending around Legaspi, you probably could be seeing a bit of a surge as those winds wrap in from the uh, north out ahead of this. Uh, it's going to be some super typhoon conditions, but these coastal areas right in here, that's my biggest worry, including one of the larger cities on the island here, Virak. I hope I'm saying that right. You guys are going to be looking at that significant threat of a surge and uh, damaging winds. So if you're out here, I know it's calm right now and you're thinking, where's the super typhoon? Uh, it's coming. And once it does show up, it is packing a significant punch here, friends. Now, the uh, Pegasa, the Philippine Meteorological Agency, is not calling it a super typhoon yet. Only JTWC is at it. But uh, give it another update or two, and um, it's going to be upgraded. Uh, I almost guarantee it. I, I haven't talked to anybody from Pegasa, but just based on all the data I'm seeing, this is coming together. This This has that sign. Um, of a super here uh, taking a look at the high resolution guidance yeah passing right over cat and duanas here as we go ahead through our saturday morning then tracking off towards the west i think by uh saturday night into sunday we're going to get a good idea of the impacts there but this is still maintaining that strong typhoon intensity as it kicks on shore there just basically uh north uh, of manila and then crossing over the maga area uh, into isabella and then exiting by sunday evening just off of la union around pangatsinan where i think i'm a little worried about pangatsinan in the northerly winds that could be uh kicking up as it crosses on by and almost bringing a bit of a storm surge for Pangasinan where the storm is expected to pass right over. Baguio heavy rainfall uh, in that area is likely in the mountains could be causing some uh, landslides but I mean, you can see here as we go ahead into Catanduanas 8 p.m. through 10 p.m. this evening that storm is going to be passing right overhead as a super typhoon friends. Dangerous scary situation. Uh, for our friends out there so make sure hey if you are there if you know anybody make sure they're prepared to evacuate if they need it especially anybody along the coast definitely a storm surge threat from this storm system and i try not to hype these up you all know that so when the time comes to be like oof this is gonna be bad um y'all y'all know that i'm i'm not kidding um and that's the case with this storm system so yeah, we need to be ready here for our friends just out ahead of this. And let's just take another look actually from the track here. This is actually from JMA. Do they actually pull it a little bit further north, but some of the other guidance, UK, ECMWF rate like that, BOM rate like that, I'm leaning more into the UK. Um, and yeah, it just comes right overhead. But I think some of these coastal areas, man, there's going to be a significant threat of a uh, storm surge from what is now a Cat 4 Super Typhoon, um, JMA calls it a violent typhoon. Uh, this eye is going to be damaging. And even for our friends here on Northern Samaria, I mean, you're still going to be skirted by it. But this is still going to be packing a punch all the way up to uh, landfall here in central Luzon. And we can actually see 
Cat 4. They're actually saying JMA, same, um, maybe a 2, but I think it's going to be a little bit further south than this and probably still a 3 all the way up to a landfall here around Balur into the Aurora area, traversing, crossing over Pangat Sinan. Uh, places like San Fernando are going to be looking at likely um, strong, severe tropical storm strength winds by that time, but it still could be even some uh, Cat 1 gust uh, across some of those areas. So there's a broad range of impacts to be had and we got plenty to talk about here, so let's continue to track it. Stay safe out there, friends. If you're ahead of this, especially along the coastal areas here, as this monster of a storm starts to head towards your area, um, take it serious. Money is uh, it's intensifying, and it's packing, packing a punch. Stay safe out there, guys.